Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a inter-district matchup as the Blue Valley Southwest T-Wolves take on the Shawnee Mission North Indians. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from Blue Valley Southwest. I'm Pavan Koda and I'm a senior. I'm Ross Marine, I'm also a senior. I'm Emily Love, I'm a senior. I'm Katie Super, I'm a sophomore. I'm Case Galloway and I'm a senior. And our competitors from Shawnee Mission North. I'm Nick White, I'm a junior. I'm Adam Moon and I'm a senior. I'm Goldia Kiddick and I'm a sophomore. I'm Frankie Baker and I'm a junior. I'm Tristan Abbott and I'm a junior. All right, here on categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping and it was won by Shawnee Mission North. So North, here is the first category and it is world geography. With a combined area of less than 25 square miles, what are the two smallest countries in the world? Adam? Monaco and Vatican City. Cannot accept that. T-Wolves, chance to steal this world geography question. With a combined area of less than 25 square miles, name the two smallest countries in the world. Ross. Luxembourg and Vatican City. It is not Luxembourg and Vatican City. Vatican City is one of them, but the other one is San Marino. San Marino is the other. T-Wolves, you do get the next category, and it is U.S. history, colonies. Who was the owner of the colony of Maryland? Ross? John, John Rolfe. It is incorrect. Indians, chance to steal this U.S. history, colonies category. Who was the owner of the colony of Maryland? Tristan. Lord Baltimore. It is Lord Baltimore. Very good. So I mission North, you do get the next category. It is U.S. history again, but it is presidents. Seven 20th century presidents, presidents elect, and former presidents have faced assassination attempts. McKinley and Kennedy were killed. Name any three of the five survivors. Time on that. T-Wolves, chance to steal this president's category. Seven 20th century presidents, presidents-elect, or former presidents have faced assassination attempts. McKinley and Kennedy were killed. Name any three of the five survivors. Ross? Ford, Reagan, and Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Those are the three. The other two were FDR, the other Roosevelt, and Truman. Very good. Southwest, the next category for you is math. And here's the question. Is the graph of the linear equation y equals 3 a vertical line, a horizontal line, or a diagonal line? Pavan. A horizontal line. Horizontal line is correct. Shawnee Mission North, science, astronomy is your category. What term do astronomers use to describe an object whose motion is opposite to that of the Earth on its axis or to the planets around the sun? Time on that. T-Wolves, chance to steal this astronomy question. What term do astronomers use to describe an object whose motion is opposite to that of the Earth on its axis or to the planets around the sun? Answer we're looking for is retrograde. Retrograde. Southwest, vocabulary is the category. If the plot of a novel were described as hackneyed, what kind of plot would it be? Indians, chance to steal this vocabulary category. If the plot of a novel were described as hackneyed, what kind of plot would it be? Nick? Overused or trite. Overused or trite. Those, that's actually the two words that are exactly on the card. Nice job. Indians, you do get the next uh, category. It is current events. 
Thousands of people protested in Washington, D.C. last Sunday against what proposed pipeline project? Time, Southwest, chance to steal this current events category. Thousands of people protested in Washington, D.C. Sunday against what proposed pipeline project? Ross, you did get in on time. The one from the Gulf of the Mexico to Canada. I can't give you the exact name. Well, we were looking for the exact name. <laughs> it is the Keystone Pipeline. Keystone Pipeline. Children's literature is the next category, T-Wolves. What was the two-word reply of the lazy cat, dog, and mouse when the little red hen asked them to help her with the bread-making chores? Katie? Not now. Cannot accept not now. China Mission North, children's literature is the category, your chance to steal. What was the two-word reply of the lazy cat, dog, and mouse when the little red hen asked them to help her with the bread-making chores? Frankie? Maybe later. Cannot accept that either. It's actually not I, not I. Indians, famous places is the category. What Thames River Bridge is nearest the Tower of London? <phone rings> Southwest, chance to steal this famous places category. What Thames River Bridge is nearest the Tower of London? <phone rings> Pavan? Westminster. Do not accept that. We're looking for the Tower Bridge, being close to the Tower of London. Southwest, U.S. government is your category. Who is the highest ranking member of the U.S. President's Cabinet? <phone rings> Ross? Vice President. Don't accept Vice President. Shawnee Mission North, chance to steal this U.S. government category. Who is the highest ranking member of the U.S. President's Cabinet? <phone rings> Tristan? Secretary of State. Secretary of State is the acceptable answer. Shawnee Mission North, you get the next category. International commerce is the category. Does Europe receive rubber, oil, or cotton from the United States? Frankie? Cotton. Cotton is the correct answer. Southwest, U.S. history is your category. Vermont was the first state to be added to the Union following the original 13. Ohio was the 17th. Which were the 15th and 16th? Ross? Kentucky and Tennessee. Those are the two. Very good. Shawnee Mission North. Sports is the category. Name the former NBA Philadelphia Warrior star who holds the record for most field goals of 1,597 during a season. Hint, also a former Jayhawk. Adam? Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain is correct. T-Wolves, Fine Arts Musicals is your category. In opera, it's called a libretto. What is the story called in a musical comedy? North, chance to steal this fine arts musicals category. In opera, it's called a libretto. What is the story called in a musical comedy? <phone rings> Book. Book is the story. Science, chemistry is the next category, Shawnee Mission North. What vessel used in chemistry labs consists of a glass bulb with a long neck bent downward? Southwest, same category, science and chemistry. What vessel used in chemistry labs consists of a glass bulb with a long neck bent downward? <phone rings> retort, retort is what we're looking for. T-Wolves, next category for you is vocabulary. The adjective cephalic means related to what part of the body? Pavan? The head. The head is correct. 
Shawnee Mission North, U.S. History is your category. What Supreme Court Justice's nomination did Dwight Eisenhower later say was the biggest damn fool mistake I ever made? Adam. Earl Thomas. Can not accept that? T. Wolves, chance to steal this U.S. History category. What Supreme Court Justice's nomination did Dwight Eisenhower later say was the biggest damn fool mistake I ever made? Answer we're looking for, Earl Warren, Earl Warren. U.S. military is the next category for you, T. Wolves. What do the letters PX mean to a soldier? Indians, chance to steal this U.S. Uh, US military question. What do the letters PX mean to a soldier? Nick? Is it for commissary? Cannot accept that. We're looking for post exchange, the post exchange. It's a store, on, on, usually on base. Indians, you do get the next category, general knowledge. In quotes, logo is the subject of this question. What insurance company uses an elk in its logo? T. Wolves, general knowledge is the category. What insurance company uses an elk as its logo? Ross? Hartford. Hartford. And you have tied up the score at five apiece. T. Wolves, next category for you is geography, flags. What South American country has, a, has the golden sun of May at the center of its flag. Emily? Argentina. Argentina is correct. Shawnee Mission North, fine arts statues is your category. A giant chrysalis, this is going to be a tough one to say, chrysalophatine statue of Athena stood in the Parthenon. Of what two substances was that celebrated statue made of? Tristan? Marble and gold. Can I accept marble and gold? Southwest, fine arts, statues is the category. A giant Chris, I guess it's killing me, Chris Elephantine statue of Athena stood in the Parthenon. Of what two substances was the celebrated statue made of? Ross. Marble and ivory. If you guys combined, it would have been good. It was ivory and gold. Ivory and gold. Southwest, you do get the next category. Science, general science is the category. The date was April 20th, 1972. The destination, the Y Plateau on the Descartes Mountains. Where are the Descartes Mountains? Ross? The moon. They are on the moon. Very good. And you've opened up a bit of a lead as we head into halftime with a score of Blue Valley Southwest 7, Shawnee Mission North 5. As we head into this part of our program, it is halftime, and we go to a uh, student member of each team to give us a campus update and what is happening in and around their school. And for Blue Valley Southwest, we have Ross. Ross, what is happening with the Timberwolves? Well, uh... We are into our third week of No Shave November, which two of our teammates are participating in. And uh, we also had a very successful showing for the debate team last weekend. They won sweepstakes at the Newton High School Tournament. And our football team also got a f fairly good run into the postseason, and they won regionals but fell to Paola in their last game on Friday night. That's All right, it. so pretty good. Tell me a little bit about No Shave November. Is that for... I believe it's for men's health, is that right? Yes, I believe so. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Shawnee Mission North, as we go to Adam, with Shawnee Mission North. Adam, what is happening with the Indians? Well, we are also in our third week of No Shave November at North. Um, we recently finished up our fall, musical, um, fall play, Moon Over Buffalo, and we just held auditions for our winter musical, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Today was also the first day of winter sports, and we had a very good showing for all of our fine arts department at the district auditions and we had a one cellist get first chair at district orchestra this year. 
Awesome. So it sounds like both schools are doing a great job, well-rounded, very eclectic in what they are doing, including scrapping razors for one month. Nice job. All right, as we head into the second round here on categories, it is the lightning round in which we place a question on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So both teams, here we go. The first category of the second round is geography. And Canada is the topic of this question. What province in Canada ranks first in population? Ross. Quebec. It is not Quebec. Shawnee Mission North, chance to steal this Canada geography category. What province ranks first in population? Tristan. Ontario. Ontario is the correct province. Theater for both teams. In 1940, William Saroyan wrote a play about people in, San in a San Francisco tavern who philosophize about life. The popular drama was awarded the Pulitzer Prize, but he refused it. What is the title? We're looking for the time of your life, the time of your life. Science, astronomy, another astronomy question for both teams. This part of your body controls heat, oh, excuse me, not astronomy, anatomy. Huge difference, anatomy. <laughs> this part of your body controls the heat and humidity of the air you intake. It also filter, filters out undesirable substances. What is it? Ross? The epiglottis. It is not the epiglottis. Indians, chance to steal this science anatomy question. This part of your body controls the heat and humidity of the air you intake. It also filters out the undesirable substances. What is it? Adam? The lungs. It's not the lungs. Before the lungs, it's the nose. It's the nose. Sports for both teams. Give me the city of the location of the famous Kentucky Derby. Ross? Churchill Downs. Can I accept Churchill Downs? Oh, Shawnee funny. Mission North, chance to steal this sports category. Give me the city location of the famous Kentucky Derby. Adam? Lexington. It is not Lexington, it's Louisville. Louisville. Both teams, current events is the category. Political leaders in what country are in talks to appoint a new minister, clearing the way for a bailout package that would ease the country's... Adam? Greece. It is Greece, and you have even up the score at seven apiece. Math to, the, to both teams. To the nearest inch, determine the number of inches in 15 centimeters. Pavan? Six. Six. Nice job. World history for both teams. What method of execution once used in Spain involves strangulation by an iron collar? I'm looking for the garrot. Garrot. That's a real pleasant one, isn't it? All right. General knowledge for both teams. In what field are the names of companies Donruss, Fleer, and Tops associated? Ross? Trading cards. Trading cards. Government for both teams. The record for the longest filibuster in the U.S. Congress is 24 hours and 18 minutes. The record is held by a South Carolina Republican who spoke against the Civil Rights Act of 1957. Name him. Adam. Strom. Um, sorry, time on that one. Southwest, chance to steal this government question. The U.S. record, or the record for the longest filibuster in the U.S. Congress is 24 hours and 18 minutes. The record is held by a South Carolina Republican who spoke against the Civil Rights Act of 1957. Name him. Strom's the first name. Thurmond. Thurmond is the last name. We can accept last names, we just can't accept first names on that. U.S. geography for both teams. What is the largest state capital with the word city in its name? 
Ross? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Geography for both teams. Which city is the furthest to the west? Johannesburg, Addis Ababa, or Cairo? Tristan. Johannesburg. Johannesburg is correct. U.S. history for both teams. What was the largest city in America in 1700 with a population of more than 7,000? Ross. Philadelphia. It is not Philadelphia. Shawnee Mission North, chance to steal this U.S. history category. What was the largest city in America in 1700 with a population of more than 7,000? Tristan? Boston. It is Boston. Poetry for both teams. In Edwin Arlington Robinson's poem, Maniver Cheevy, after Maniver coughed and called it fate, what did he keep on doing? Pavan? Coughing. No, it is not coughing. Shawnee Mission North, poetry is the category, your chance to steal. In Edwin Arlington Ro Robinson's poem, Maniver Cheevy, after Maniver coughed and called it fate, what did he keep on doing? <coughs> kept on drinking, kept on drinking. Science, geology is the next category. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. The concept of plate tectonics says that the earth is composed of several plates which move and grind, creating landforms. What synonym of plate tectonics uses the metaphor of a huck fin type vessel moving around the earth instead of a piece of a plate? Ross? Raft. Raft is correct. Spelling for both teams. How do you spell maneuver? Pavan? M-A-N-E-U-V-E-R. That is correct. Maneuver. Both teams. Next category is literature. Identify the author of Myra Breckenridge. Gore Vidal is who we're looking for. Right now, we do have a, a slight lead for, Shawn uh, for Blue Valley Southwest with a score of 12, Shawnee Mission North, 9. Next category for both teams, math. If the hot water tap in Susan's house leaks 8 ounces, or 1 cup, every, every 15 minutes, how many cups of water are lost in a day? Pavan? 96. 96 cups. Film is the next category for both teams. I'll give you a line from the film and you tell me to what it alludes to or what film it alludes to. Here's the line. Play it again, Sam. Emily? Casablanca. Casablanca. General knowledge for both teams. Where there's opposing traffic, two solid lines of which color mean don't pass? Katie? Yellow. Yellow. I was hoping you guys would jump on that one quicker. All right, economics is the next category for both teams. It's a multiple choice question. The most meaningful comparison of relative economic competence among nations would be in terms of foreign export, gross national product, per capita production, or stability of currency exchange rates. Ross. Per capita production. Per capita production. And you've opened up a bit of a lead of 16 to 9. World geography for both teams. The area of the world inhabited by the Laps is called Lapland. Name three of the four countries included in this area. Tristan. Finland, Norway, uh, Russia. Russia. And the other one would be Sweden. Music theory is the next category. The bass and treble clefs are known by other names indicating the reference pitches. What note above middle C is the reference pitch for the treble clef? Katie? F. It is not F. Shawnee Mission North, chance to steal this music theory question. The bass and treble clefs are known by other names, including the reference pitches. What note above middle C is the reference pitch for the treble clef? Goldia? G. G is correct. Religion for both teams. In which book of the Bible do we read, 
a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink. Tristan? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is really right on the money. Good job. World geography for both teams. The Sultanate, the Sultanate of Brunei is found on the north coast of what island? Adam? Borneo. Borneo. Very good. General knowledge for both teams. Name the Los Angeles-based organization which promotes euthanasia. Its name comes from the name of the poison Socrates drank. Tristan? Belladonna. It is not Belladonna. Southwest, chance to steal this general knowledge category. Name the Los Angeles-based organization which promotes euthanasia. Its name comes from the name of the poison Socrates drank. Hemlock Society, Hemlock Society. Both teams, famous quotations in sports is the category. What pro football coach once warned his players, if you aren't fired with enthusiasm, you'll be fired with enthusiasm. Adam? Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi, right on the money. Science, biology is the next category. Excess water in the body, causes edema. What does a, a deficiency of, excuse me, excess causes a, uh, an edema. What does a deficiency of water cause? Nick? Dehydration. Dehydration. And you've narrowed the gap to one, southwest 16, north 15. Vocabulary. This next answer starts with a prefix semi. It's a punctuation mark. Pavan. Semicolon. Semicolon. Math for both teams. Brownies cost $5.40 per dozen. How much will it cost for 15 brownies? Tristan? $8.10. $8.10 is incorrect. <laughs> uh, Tim Wolves, you do have a chance to steal this category. It is math. Brownies cost $5.40 per dozen. How much will it cost for 15 brownies? Pavan? $6.75. That is the correct answer. And with that siren, that does signal the end of the game. It was well fought and great comeback by Shawnee Mission North, but Blue Valley Southwest does come in on top with a score of 18 to Shawnee Mission North 15. Please join us again here next time on Categories as we'll bring you another exciting match of the best and brightest high school minds all throughout Johnson County.